Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. If you just watched my face shave or you watched it previously and you've come with this head shave, you'll notice that I've got a lot of rash down here from my previous shave, which I've re irritated And I finished off, I was just taking the hair off you and know, I actually nicked myself on my lip as well with the Wunderbar. So, yeah, you cut yourself with every razor. I, I've had a few little bumps and things like that, weepers, little weepers and stuff from the Wunderbar, but other, other than that, it's been superb. Now, I just want to talk just quickly before I start this head shave about this stuff. I'm going to be using it again. Coconut lime sterling post shave balm, or I would imagine any sterling post shave balm. I have never, out of all balms that I've used, had skin that felt that soft after a shave. I mean, it is like, I don't get baby BBS shaves ever, but it feels BBS because my skin is so soft. So, yeah, whatever they've got in the balm, and however they've mixed it, whatever they've done with it, it is absolutely superb post shave. Better than anything I've used, and it's without. A, I've tried a few now. I've got Holy Call and Barrister Man. I've tried that, and I've tried it. I've got, I can't off the top of my head. I can't think of them all. Even, even the Elvado and Castle Forbes. That is by far the best post shave feel I've had from any post shave cream. Anyway, let's get stuck in. I'm going to be using sterling coconut lime again, which I just used on my face. Beautiful scent, great performance. Really looking forward to using it. I'm just going to change my razor blades. I'm using the Wunderbar again by Razor Rock or Italian Barber or whatever you want to call it. So I've just screwed that in and that's the Kai blade again. I think it's a, it's a, I haven't actually checked back to see how many times I've used it, but I think it's a fifth or sixth use on that one blade and it's still going strong. So I'm going to give it another go today and see how it goes. I've managed to stop all the bleeding on my neck, which is good. I've got a little bit of rash down here. My ingrown hair is looking better. Right, so the brush is the Razor Rock Monster. It's all right. It's not the most comfortable brush on a, on a face lather. It should be fine on my head. I'm just going to head lather today rather than a bowl. I'll bowl lather. It's already got a bit of lather in there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to dip the tips and straight back into the soap just to gather a little bit more load into the brush. And then I'll transfer that into the bowl and we'll whip up a nice big, thick, voluptuous, creamy lather <laughs> and then we'll slap it all over the head get it shaved and then I'll take the kids out and have a nice day with the kids with the grandparents so that should be enough for that there's another hair, I've lost, that's probably about 13 hairs or so and I think I've lost from this brush not not best pleased with it, if I'm honest. Put a little bit of water in the bowl. Good thing with these brushes is they're huge. You can get them into these bowls very, very easily without smashing them into the sides. And you can generally whip up a great ladder. Scent strength on well, the actual scent itself. If you haven't watched any of my face shaves before, you use it. I've watched my face shave before using this. So it's got a beautiful coconut. I would say coconut. It's definitely the star of the show in this one. But the line just lifts it you can smell the lime it's not but it's not in your face line it just lifts the coconut to, to another level and I think that's lovely scent strength out the tubs like a five five and a half and then once you get a bit of water in it you're up around about a six six and a half so it's not as strong as most sterling soaps that I've used but scent wise it's superb it is as good as any scent that sterling I've produced in my eyes or in my nose yeah, they just make they just make amazing scents. Great performing soaps, and as I've just found out, the balms are just incredible. They leave a post shave feel like no oil, nothing else. And look, it could be the fact that I used theirs, then the Cool Fix, and then the Royal Tahitian line from Elvado. That's all going to help towards that post shave feel. But yeah, it, it is truly an amazing feeling skin afterwards. Feels very soothed and very refreshed. 
Right, we're not a million miles away from you. That's, uh, I'm getting pretty close to where I want to be with this ladder. And it'll probably be a, I'm going to do one pass against the grain because I've only got one day's growth. And then a pick up, so I don't need absolute hurdles of ladder, but you can see there, it's not, well, it's, it is quite peaky. But because the brush is so big, it's hard to scoop out enough to give you guys an idea. But you can see there, there's loads on there. So I'm going to stop there. It's pretty much the consistency that I like. I just want to clean off that little bit of blood in my neck because it's annoying me. And I'll just wipe the head. And then get stuck in. So the Razor Rock Monster all loaded up. And like I say, this is actually the first sterling soap that I've used which is non-mentholated, there's no menthol in it. And I do miss the menthol, I love menthol. I absolutely love it. So because I'm just going directly against the grain, I've got no real hair growth. I don't need a massively thick lather. This is thick. I tell you, this is a thick lather. But I don't. it doesn't need to be like a voluptuous thick lather on the head. Like you can see, that's a good thick layer of soap there. Way more than what you need. Phone the bar. Fifth or sixth use on the Kai blade. Straight against the grain. Yeah, very, very nice. And what I might do, I might just, I might try it against the green on the back first, but I might actually do it with the green pass on the back first and then finish off with against the green. I think it's mainly because I think the blades maybe just come at the end this one. Which I'm a little bit disappointed about. I don't know why, because five to six shaves <laughs> one blade on your head is pretty damn impressive. I think it may actually be alright. Let's see, I'll just mention it again for you guys. If this is the first time you've come onto the channel. It's actually clogging up a little bit here. Yeah. It's got a good good gap here, allowing flow through. But the great thing with this razor is there's no overhanging edges. So you can put it behind your ear.
without any fear of slicing your ear. Unless you're daft enough like me when I actually shaved my ear and took a chunk out of it. Just plowing through the hair. I thought I was going to go again uh, with the grain, but there's no need. The soap is clogging up a little bit. I wonder if I've just not got enough water in there. I might just dip the tips of this brush. There, I've lost another hair. Just dip the tips of the brush and just wet this a little bit because it's. This is where I really need the good slickness. I don't want the brush, the, the razor clogging up because there's not enough moisture in the soap. A bit better. I've just lost another three hairs. It's not a great brush, I've got to say. Well, a new subscriber has just joined and posted a couple of comments and it was on about saying that it looks like I've got the same problem he has with having to go with the same areas all the time at the back of the head The reason why is because there's so much Skin's a lot looser on the back of your head as it is opposed to the front. Right, there's not much left on there. So it's without stretching the skin, you're going to have to spend a little bit longer trying to get the hair off. Just going into the sinker because it's absolutely chokers full of crap. Time. I'm hoping it'll be done in under 20 minutes with this one, which will be nice. Oh, scent's lovely. Filling up the bathroom. Beautiful, sweet coconut. Right. So all I'm doing now is basically just a pick up pass. So it's just to tidy up all the loose ends, all those little hairs that have been trying to sneak away and get missed. There are no prisoners.
kids are watching Lego Batman just now. If you hear that, join them with the words if you know them. Did my usual and ran out of space in my phone. Brilliant. Yeah, so let's see. I don't, I don't actually mind too much going over the same areas in the back of my head. When you're using a razor like this, where it's extremely efficient, but it's not too aggressive. Well, it's not really aggressive at all, if I'm honest. I sort of gauge everything by my 34C. The 34C razor by Merkur, Merkur is, in my eyes, a medium aggressive razor. It's not, a, to me, it's not mild. So that might mean that this razor is super mild for you if you find a 34C a mild razor. So right now, all I'm using is just residual slickness of the soap, which was sterling. You guys will know that I've used it before. It's as good as any. Now that I've said that, I'm going to take a big chunk of skin out of my head. Just so you guys can have a good laugh. And like, I'll just repeat it again, I'll probably repeat it every shave. What I find with this phone the bar. For touch-ups, just doing these general little pickups on my head. As I don't have to go for areas over and over and over again. Quite as much. I'm just getting super close here because I'm going to have a couple of days where I won't be shaving, I think. Just to let my skin rest a bit, not so much on my head. Yeah, that's super close. Super, super close.
Yeah, that's amazing. An absolutely amazing shape. I'll probably find the Bundabar better on my head than I do my face, but it gives a great face shape as well, no doubt. But I do find it better for my head. It's, a, it's easily my favourite head shaving razor now. It, it just outperforms the R41, the Timeless, the Mugrest, the Futu, which I used to have. I no longer have the Futu. It out, outperforms that. Brush wise, I'm not a fan of this brush. I'm not a fan of the knot, if I'm honest. The knot's a little bit scritchy. Which is something that I haven't experienced, even with the Magard knot, the 26mm granite. Pretty nice looking little brush. A well, little brush is a big brush. It does the trick and it's cheap, and that's that's a great thing. If you buy it, it lasts you a year, and it's fifteen bucks. God, we, you can't for fifteen bucks. What more do you want, really? Thea's lemon witch hazel. So that was Sterling Coconut Lime. Not mentally soap, smells superb, works superb. It's, it's beautiful stuff, it really is. We used the Razor Rock Wunderbar from Italian Barber, and you can see the slant on that, it's massive. I believe it's a torque slant, which is when they twist it. It's not like a, just they just do a straight line, it's actually twisted, it looks like twisted metal. And it is just made to perfection. Everything lines up. This cap fits both ways perfectly. Really, really impressive. The handle's comfortable. It's got a great weight, great balance. And for head shaves, I've used nothing as good. Really, I haven't. Uh, we then used the, the Razor Rock Monster. I'm not sure what size knot this is. I think it's a 26mm. It's a big old knot. Look, there's another hair look. It's just shedding hair like a crazy dog. It's a it's an okay brush. It's nowhere near the quality of the Black Wolf or the Tuxedo Knots or the Game Changers, in my opinion. It's not as soft. It's just, it feels soft on the fingertips, but on the face and on the skin, when I'm, you can feel a little bit of scritch, a little bit of scrub. Some people like that. I don't. I, I like I like to just feel nothing really. Just a lovely softness when you put the lather on. Okay, so I'm going to move on to shave what's a cool fix again. I'm going to slap this. On head and face again, I'm just going to rub it everywhere. This stuff really works. Oh, just a, where is it? What's it? Right there. That's it. Just one little bit there. Shave works to cool fix. If you haven't got it, I highly recommend you at least buy the little bottle, the little sort of safe travel bottle, and just try it. I think it's amazing. I think it does a great job. Really helps with ingrown hairs. Moving on to the Obado Royal Tahitian line. And it even smells good. First impressions on scent with the Well, the cool fix wasn't great, it didn't really do anything for me, but it sort of grows on you. But it's more of a what it can do thing rather than what it smells like. Very similar in a way to the soaps. You, know, you, you buy a soap because it smells good, but if it performs shit, then there's no point in it smelling good. And vice versa, you can buy a soap because it performs amazingly, but it doesn't smell that great. There's good reasons for both. And the bowl that I used today was my Saponificio Barracino shaving reel. It's the only bowl I use now. I've got a few shaving shaving bowls. This is the only bad boy that I use because it's superb. It's a great handle for holding. You can't drop this handle when you've got it in your hand. It's a great grip and you can really get in there and smash it about using the dimples and the banana leafing on the inside of the handle. Superb bowl. 
and once again if you haven't got one and you can get hold of one for a good price or you just want to buy one worth every single cent in my mind you know that the the two they're another one of those things they're not cheap they're expensive but they're worth it in my eyes right how are we feel that's pretty good i'm now going to finish off head and face again with this amazing boshe balm by sterling soap this is the coconut lime to go with the soap Good dollar for this on. This is thick stuff, really thick stuff. It's very similar to like a, a sunscreen, but it smells out of this world. Just a little bit of hair there as well. I don't recommend doing that at home. <laughs> I'm just a bit daft that way. I don't totally. like. I don't like leaving any hair on my head at all. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how my skin feels in a few hours. Because it feels great just after you put it on. And the smell. Oh, smells absolutely amazing. Anyway guys, that is me done and dusty for the day. Probably done and dusty for the weekend. I might do another head shave tomorrow. I shall see how I go. But I won't be doing a face shave for a good few days. I don't think I need to rest my neck after using that holy black soap. It's really damaged my skin quite a bit. And it's making it difficult to shave at all, really. I'm feeling the burn all the time. So, other than that guys, I shall leave you to it. Stay safe, drive safe. Don't drink and drive. I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.